G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now, do you guys remember this amazing coaster that I made? Uh, it is the Fairy Flower Technique. Um, and I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to do some different colours. So, yes, today, today's colours are magenta, mauve and turquoise. These are all from um, Holbein, Holbein, tomatoes, tomatoes, however you want to say it. <laughs> Don't message me to say I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> I'm using those colors. All right, so um, basically pink, purple, and teal. So we'll see how they go. All right, so same as the other one, the previous one I've done, I've got a little bit of white that I'm going to use for my piping. Um, I've got a big cup of white that I pour at the end and I'm going to get straight on to my dirty pour. So I think this time I'm going to try and do three layers. So we'll do some of the pink, some of the purple. I hope these colours will work nicely together. Some of the teal and then go again. Pink. Because last time I only did two layers. And I said to you, I wonder what it would look like if I did three layers. So this is the day. Actually, I might even do four. I've got quite a lot here. Oh, gosh. All right, we're doing four. We're going for four. Smaller layers. Uh, it just means that the colours will be a little bit more blended. So you won't see, like, quite strong stripes, which I got last time. So we'll just see. I even scrape scrape out my cups on the last one. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a little bit more blended. But look, it total, it's totally up to you. Um, how you want to do your fairy flower. God, there's a lot in there, isn't there? <laughs> if you do want to do the fairy flower course, how to learn how to do this, I'll give you the, all the recipes and the, the measurements and everything you need. Um, I will link resincourses.com, <clears throat> the website down below in my description. And also a coupon code so you can get 10% off, which is a nice saving for everybody. All right, last little bit. So I think I've got like five layers in there this time instead of, what did I do last time? Two. I think I only did two, didn't I? Yeah. So yeah, just get more of a blending, which, which might be nice. Might be nice. All right, so that's in there. Um, now I'm just going to pour this up. I've got some pipettes, you guys. Got a bag of pipettes to see if I can do the drops with that, but we'll see. We shall see how it goes. I didn't want to start in the outside because I just didn't want to have those rings. Now I just I know it looks a bit muddy and a bit blurry, but hopefully hopefully it'll look pretty once we've added the white to it. All right, so that's all that done. Now, <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is clean up. Right, I'm gonna, just going to go bang, 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 just to try and get those bubbles to release from the bottom of that, the surface of that mould there. All right, now I have, got, I have got my piping bag ready in case it doesn't work. I've got a tiny bit of, for my um, glitter, my white paste. So I, I have no idea if this is going to work, you guys, but I thought I'll try it. Never used. I don't know if pipettes will work with resin. Oh, look, it's going up. It's going up slowly. <laughs> okay, we've got some. We've got some resin in there. All right. Let's just see if this will work. I don't know if it will. I don't know if I'll be. Oh gosh, there's a bubble. There's an air bubble. I don't know if I'll be happy with it. Okay. Yep. It's working. It's working. It's just going to be a bit slower because see, I've run out already. And then you've got to wait for that to draw back up again. Oh, there it goes. Air bubble. Oh gosh. Anyway, I've done it. I've started now. I'm just going to have to continue, aren't I? <laughs> the way I've, I'm doing it. I can't change now, really. So these are just disposable little pipettes. And I got from Craft Online. I had three mil ones. To 
this takes a while because see the resin is thicker like if, if it was water it would just you know suck up really quickly but because it's resin it's oops there's a bubble it's going to take its time but look i thought i'll try it you could try um a little bottle like a squeeze bottle if you had one i i don't have one but you can see it's moving already oh, dogs i have a delivery here my groceries have arrived <laughs> oh gosh come on pet hurry up pet hurry up <gasps> oh gosh it's a bit slow it's taking its time it's a bubble by the time i've gone round It'll all be closed up already. Anyway, <coughs> we do what we do. <coughs> Easy. Please don't bark at the grocery man. <coughs> it would have to happen right at the beginning of my video, wouldn't it? It's always the way, it's always the way. I don't know if I could squeeze two at once. I don't want my resin to, you know, get hot or anything. It's sitting in there and it's like sucking up as um. So it, I'll just leave it sucking up there while I do this one, okay? How, how about that? So that should work. Maybe. So I can squeeze both of the tops of the pipettes, leave one in there so it can do its sucking up while I'm. <laughs> it's sucking up while I'm piping the other one. Now this time I'm not going to do the dots right into the center like I did last time because I found I had a big blob of white in the middle that I wasn't really happy with. So I'm going to not do them right into the middle. Kind of stop about there. Now I'll squish this one and let that suck up while I do this one. Look at me go! Look at me go! No, look. See, I've worked that out. Just pop those bubbles. I've worked that out. And that's not exactly centered, is it? All right, here we go. I'm going to do another row. While well, that first pipette's in there doing its sucking. Now I'm doing dots between these lines. You can see how the resin's moved already, but I'm going to put these little dots in between all of those. So we get some lots and lots of hopefully features like so this is quite easy actually <laughs> now that I've worked out how to do it so, yeah I don't, because when I was doing the piping bag I had a lot of drippage a lot of spillage which I don't have with this one so I'm going to squeeze that leave it in there take this one out look at me go you guys that's full now oh my gosh oh, small things all right now we're going to go again just wherever just wherever there's a little hole like so and again I think last time I did three rows so I'll do I'll do three rows again I don't know where my middle's gone. I think it's moved. All right, anyway, that's enough. I, th I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Um, actually, the other thing I wanted to do, and I actually just want to try something. I just want to try something, okay? So I'm going to use this little piping bag. Got a little bit of resin in there. That's enough dots. I don't feel as if it's enough dots that I didn't use as many this time, probably because of the pipette. Now this time I just want to do this. You know how we do that with the other technique? I just want to do this because I really like this particular edge. So I'm kind of going to combine the two together like that and see how that goes. Alrighty, so I've still got quite a bit of white left. I'm going to put another row. 
I just don't feel as if they're as thick as last times because I was using the piping bag and then this time I'm using the pipette so I don't feel as if they're as thick. But I don't know, I could be wrong. I've got plenty of resin, of the white resin left over. All right, that'll do, that will do. I'm happy with that. Still got some white left over. A little bit of clear in there for my glitter. Now, this is what I'm gonna do, and this is getting warm. I can feel it getting warm. All right, oh, now that I've just made my beautiful pattern, I'm gonna destroy it. Here we go. I'm gonna pour my white into, find the center first, and pour. It's nerve-wracking doing that, isn't it? Just when you've got a gorgeous design, you ruin it by pouring all the white over the top. But hopefully it will work. Gosh, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do with all these cups and stir sticks. Okay, so now my glitter, I'm going to use this uh, Mermaid Dreams from Colour Passion. Passion Glitter, it's a colour changing. It's sort of pinky, purpley, greeny tealy kind of a colour and I thought that would match with what I've got going on in there hopefully so it's gonna pop some in there like so I only put a tiny little bit of clear in there because I don't want it like to be too thin I want the resin to be and, and like that I want it to be nice and chunky Hopefully so it doesn't float away too much is, is what I'm planning. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, come on, Glitter. Let's get you in there. In the middle. In you go. Indigo Violet. Indigo. And I have no idea if this is going to be in the middle <laughs> or whether I'm still going to have a big white blob like I did last time, but it doesn't matter. I think with this particular one, you can go a little bit bigger with the centre. I don't know. I'm just gonna, just gonna kind of poke it down a bit. Okay. I have no idea. I can't see what's going on under there. I can't see. <gasps> Look at it closing up already. You don't even need a, a time lapse on this. It's doing its thing. It closes very quickly and then it just basically stays. It doesn't do much. It does, it's not like the Larimar where it closes and then it flips over and comes back under itself and takes like 50 minutes to stop moving. This is pretty much done and dusted real quick, hey? <laughs> so there we go. All righty. Oh, gosh. I'm loving those colours, but you, you just don't know what it's going to do on the other side, do you? You just don't know. The only concern I have is the big white blob in the centre. But look, this is my only my second time doing this. Um, I didn't put as much white dots in the middle this time as I did last time. So that's one thing that may help. Two things. Um, the second thing, I've got a slightly bigger centre with my glitter. Um, if that still doesn't work, I might save a little bit of clear to put in at the end. I put my white in, then put my clear, push it all out, put my glitter into the clear. We'll see. So that's that'll be the third option. So that'll be the next video if this one doesn't work totally the way I want it to. So, yes. All right. I'm going to let this sit here for about an hour or so. And then I'm going to move it into my Let's Resin curing chamber. Um, and it'll be done very soon. So I can't wait to see it. All right. See you guys soon. Wish me luck that it works. Okay, guys. It has set. Did my nails while it was curing. <laughs> Again, taking colour inspiration from the teal in there. All right. Let's see. It's still warm because it's been in my curing machine. But it is cured. Love my curing machine from Let's Resin. <laughs> I will actually I will link um let's resin down in the description. I'm not sure if they've got any stock at the moment of the curing machines. Last time I checked their site they didn't have any, but hopefully, hopefully I've got some somewhere. Alright. Oh my gosh. That's, that's, I'm nervous. I've got such a big feat to fill from the first one I did. I wonder if it's not as good. Oh, I'll feel shattered. Anyway, here we go.
<gasps> Let's have a little look. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is so pretty. <gasps> wow. It's so stripey. Look at that. That is so cool. I kind of got that edge that I wanted. See around the edge there? A little bit. I don't know that it's quite as puffy as when I did the dragon flower. I really like those colours. Wow. So because I used pink and purple, I mean pink and purple are basically a similar colour. So we've got shades of pink and purple in there. But you can definitely see the stripes. Um, and then there's more teal in the centre. My glitter has kind of spread a little bit, which, you know, can happen with glitter. Um, but it's not bad. What do you think? Do you like that one? I'm loving that teal in the centre. You can literally see a circle, a spiral. Look at that. <gasps> Let me have a look. We'll go over here and have a look at in different lights, as we always do. Look how sparkly the centre is. It sparkles. That colour that I chose for the centre matches really well, doesn't it? Like it's not, you know, sometimes, sometimes when I put like gold in the centre, it's like all you see is this blob of gold in the middle because it's so different. But this centre has actually got the pink and the teal and the, the purple in it. So it kind of all blends really nicely. And I haven't got the white blob. I just noticed. I literally just noticed that I haven't got the white blob that I had last time. Because when I was piping this, as you may remember, um, I didn't do a lot of white right in the center. With the last one, I did quite big blobs right in the center. Um, and this time I didn't do any right in the middle. And I also did some smaller ones, you know, closer to the center. Oh, I haven't got my lights on in the back of the room here. It's a bit dark, but I wanted to show you without the bright lights. What do you think? It's very similar to the last one. Uh, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's the technique, isn't it? It's the fairy flower. You get the spiral look. I do actually want to do one, um, and, and I will do it coming up. Um, instead of pouring in spirals from my dirty cup as in my layers of um, resin, coloured resin, how I poured them in layers and then, you know, poured a spiral onto my mould. I'm going to next time, don't quote me on this because I may forget, but I want to get the colours um, from the cup and instead of pouring into a spiral, um, I just want to, oops, get away from that ring light. I just want to like pour into the centre, like a puddle pour. Um, and see see what that does. What do you think that would do? Just so, I don't know, just so that we don't get a spiral each time. I mean, I like, I like the spiral, but I want to see what happens if I just pour a puddle into the centre and not pour a spiral. Does that make sense? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. But anyway, I'm gonna, I want to try that um, and just see what happens. So... Literally, instead of pouring in a circle, I'll just pour tip into the middle um, and see what happens. Yeah, let's try that. Oh my gosh. No, I want to take you in a bit closer. Look at those little petals. They are just gorgeous so on the outside here where I did my M's at the at the end you can see that they're like a bigger a bigger sort of wider petal and then on the inside here all my dots that I put down have all spread gone forward I've got a lot of bubbles haven't I gosh anyway it's just one of those things you can top coat to try and get rid of the bubbles but yeah so I've got two different looks a wider one and then the little tiny feather-like ones it's just because I've been stirring you know stir 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 all your colors and they get bubbles in them 
and I don't really know with the art pro I don't know what the work time is so I'm not sure if I can mix my colors and let them sit for five minutes just to get the bubbles up maybe I should try that hey we should probably try that to see if we can get rid of some of the bubbles but there you go so there you go another fairy flower let me know what you think of this one do you prefer the first one it was very bright wasn't it this one's more subdued oh and my next one I've got lots of ideas I want to do royal colors look I've got them here oh here I am let me show you oh, you probably can't see I've got Mm. Crimson, like a burgundy, dark green, and a dark blue. So, royal colours. I'm going to try that next time. Green, dark green, like a maroon burgundy, and a navy blue. So, we'll see how they go next time. That will be coming up next. So, watch this space. Anyway, I best go. My daughter Christy's coming up this evening to spend the weekend with me. And uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. So take care, everyone. Bye for now.